Hey, what's up traders? Today, we're covering Strategy Sync, our solution to state drift between trading platforms. State drift happens when your TradingView strategy and NinjaTrader get out of sync. Your TV strategy thinks you're long, but NT shows you're flat. The next exit long signal actually opens a new short position instead. Strategy Sync acts as a gatekeeper. Before every trade, it checks if TradingView's expected position matches your actual NT position. If they don't match, it stops the trade and it alerts you. When things get out of sync, you control the response. Wait for manual fix, flatten everything and restart, or ignore the mismatch if you know what you're doing. Before we get started, it's important to understand that Strategy Sync is intended to be used when you want the TV strategy to be in full control and dictate both entries and exits. If you intend to manually close trades on Ninja, or you want the exit management to be sent and handled on Ninja, do not use Sync unless you include strategy exit blocking. Let's break down exactly how this works. Strategy Sync uses three key pieces of info that TradingView sends with every alert. First, your current market position, where your strategy thinks it should be after this trade executes, long, short, or flat. Second, your previous market position, where your strategy was before this signal fired. And third, the actual order details, buy, sell, quantity, all that. When Crosstrade gets the alert, it does three things. Step one, activation. It sees that sync underscore strategy is enabled in your webhook. Step two, state comparison. It compares what TradingView expects with what's actually in your NinjaTrader account. Step 3. Action. If everything matches, the trade goes through. If not, it follows whatever out-of-sync rule you've set. The state comparison is where the magic happens. Strategy Sync recognizes five valid scenarios. Opening a position. Your strategy was flat, wants to go long, and NTA is actually flat. Trade executes. Adding to position. Strategy was long, wants to stay long with more size, and NT8 is actually long. Trade executes. Reversing. Strategy was long, wants to go short, and NT8 is actually long. Trade executes. Closing to flat. Strategy was long, wants to go flat, and NT8 is actually long. Trade executes. Staying flat. Strategy was flat, wants to stay flat, and NT8 is actually flat. No trade needed. But here's the critical safety rule. If your strategy thinks it was in a position but NT8 shows you're flat, that's always considered out of sync. This prevents you from accidentally opening new positions when the strategy has lost track of what's happening. When things don't match up, you've got three options. Wait mode. This is the default and safest option. The trade gets blocked, you get a warning message, and nothing happens until you manually fix the issue. Use this when you want full control over mismatches. Flatten mode. This is my favorite for automated strategies. If there's a mismatch and you have an open position, it immediately flattens your NT8 account to get back to neutral. Then your next signal can start fresh from a flat position. Ignore mode. This bypasses the safety check and forces the trade through anyway. You'll still get a warning, but the order executes. Only use this if you really know what you're doing and understand the risks. Let me show you exactly how to set this up in TradingView. Your webhook payload needs these key parameters. Sync, market position, previous market position, out of. The double brackets are TradingView's dynamic variables. They automatically populate with your strategy's current state. You don't have to calculate this stuff manually. As I mentioned before, we recently introduced a new enhancement to the synchronization logic, the ability to block strategy exit signals. This is done by adding the following line to your payload and setting the value to true. Now, if you want to offload the trade management to NinjaTrader and not have the TV strategy interfere, you can. Strategy Sync is one of those features that should be mandatory for anyone running automated strategies from TradingView. We specifically built this level of safety into the platform to help you navigate automated trading successfully and handle any situations that arise and could create unexpected and unwanted outcomes.